I'm Ross Trachtenberg with Figure It Out Baseball. I'm the recruiting coordinator at Westchester University. And I want to spend some time about establishing team rules. As a coaching staff, it's important to really focus in on what is most important to you. What do you value most as a coach? And this can certainly translate a bit into baseball skills. But I think we're really focusing here on kind of what's our character. Um, how do we want to uh, be perceived and what type of values do we want to showcase uh, to our players? What do you value? Uh, for me personally, uh, being on time is an important one for me. So punishment wise, I'm not a really big believer in calisthenics for being late um, or uh, running uh, because you misbehaved or something like that. Uh, to me, the biggest punishment you can essentially dole out would be taking baseball away. So a player that is uh, late or repeatedly late um, or essentially does something that doesn't line up with your values or your team rules, um, just having them leave practice or not allowing them to play in a game. Uh, taking that away, I think, is uh, the most valuable thing you can remove from a player. Uh, much more than making them run to understand uh, they did something wrong. But in addition to being on time, um, to me, I think it's carrying yourself in, in the right way. So kind of wearing your uniform the right way. So you know, uniform is generally clean. You have your, you know, your spikes tied up. You have your shirt tucked in. Um, but again, you have to determine if that's important to you uh, or not. Uh, communication is big uh, for me. Uh, so I'm going to communicate information uh, to players, what time you're supposed to be there. Uh, players have the equal responsibility of communicating if uh, they have a conflict, they're homesick, uh, things of that nature. Uh, the communication needs to be two ways. Honesty is going to be another big one. Uh, and that goes right along with communication. Uh, so when you ask a player, uh, did you miss the sign, you were looking and you missed it, or were you just not paying attention and missed the sign. Um, and having that honest conversation uh, and showing that you do have a general, genuine interest in the person, but again, uh, that would be something that I, I value and would be part of the team rules. What's important though is that the coaches, uh, and that would be the entire staff, uh, follow the rules as well. So if being on time is of importance then the coaches should be on time too. Uh, if you want your players to stay off their cell phones during practice uh, then the coaches should not be on practice, uh, should not be on their cell phones during practice obviously. Uh, even things like NCAA doesn't allow uh, tobacco products so the coaches can't dip during practice and expect the players not to. Uh, so those things work together as a, as a program. What are our rules? Let's really focus in on the few things that are really most important to us that are going to help build a culture. Uh, and again, that list should be uh, reasonable, um, digestible, understandable from your players. And I think you need to repeat them to your players uh, time and time again uh, so that they understand being on time is important. Your appearance is important. Uh, you're representing yourself, the team, the university, repeating that to them is important. So again, building that list of rules, I don't know that there's a set number, but I think keeping them manageable um, is, is very important. Generally at Westchester and our head coach has you know, one golden rule, which was essentially do the right thing. Um, and that covers a whole lot uh, in the classroom in terms of off the field and then certainly on the field. But I think what's, again, a, an easy takeaway is if you start feeling like what you're doing is not correct, it's not in the best interest of yourself, your team, your university, uh, then it's probably something you shouldn't be involved in. Those are just some pointers in terms of how to build uh, team rules, but I think it really comes back to the coach uh, or coaching staffs really determining what are the most important things that they value uh, and build them into a rule set. Again, I'm Ross Trachtenberg with Figured Out Baseball and look forward to sharing more information with you soon.